today we are going to talk about the compound flap and its classification the compound flap is the flap that got multiple tissue component like skin muscle fascia uh, bones fat etc so it's kind of flap that is really useful in covering complex defect there is a hallux classification for compound flap first it is classified into two major groups according to its vascularization if the compound flap got a single vessel to supply it then we call it a composite flap and if it gets more than one blood vessel to supply it then we call it a conjoint flap or a chimeric flap so what is composite flap it has a single blood supply and its component are dependent on each other that is its component are intact and if we want to transfer the composite flap we need to elevate all the component uh, together as a whole and transfer it most of the myocutaneous or septocutaneous flaps are composite flap because we elevate the skin with muscle or fascia as a intact unit because the skin in different skin is dependent on the perforator arising from the muscle or fascia now about the conjoint flap it is basically a compound flap which get more than one one blood supply uh, if we get two composite flap that are attached physically to each other then we get a conjoint flap or if the component of a composite flap gets its blood supply from different source or it gets uh, two vessel to supply the components then it is called the conjoint flap it is of two types one is perforator based that is the conjoint flap which is supplied by multiple perforators and another one is branch based the conjoint flap that is supplied by the branches of the artery if both the vessel arises from the same source artery then uh, we call it a common type conjoint flap and if the source uh, if the supplying vessel are from different source then we call it an independent type conjoint flap chimeric flap we call it a chimeric flap when there are more than one composite flap that are not attached physically but they are supplying vessels are linked together so it's kind of a long distance relationship they do not meet physically but their heart i mean blood vessel is linked together it is of three types first one is perforator based that is two composite flap with a linked blood uh, with their linked source vessel is supplied by the perforators second one is branch based that is uh, the component of the chimeric flap is supplied by the branches of the artery and third one is fabricated the fabricated one is when we add another component like bone fascia uh, muscle or skin to the supplying vessel of a chimeric flap then we call um, uh, at the time of surgery then we call it a fabricated chimeric flap so if we add this uh, bone at the end of the supplying vessel of the chimeric flap so this is a chimeric flap if we add this bone to the end of the supplying vessel of the chimeric flap then we call it a sequential type fabricated chimeric flap and if we add this bone to the uh, to any branches of the chimeric flap then we call it an internal type of chimeric flap this is a perfect example of chimeric flap the subscapular artery arises from the third part of the axillary artery it gives branches to circumflex scapular artery which is the pedicle for the scapular flap and after that it gives the thoracodorsal artery which uh, supply the latissimus dorsi and serratus anterior muscle if we elevate 
all the flaps based on this uh, subscapular artery then uh, all these flaps are not attached to each other and they are supplied by a common source vessel then we call it a chimeric flap now about the fabricated chimeric flap assume that there is a open fracture of the tibia with segmental loss now if we reconstruct this area with ALT flap with some uh, muscle fiber of the vastus lateralis this is the supplying vessel which is the descending branch of the lateral circumflex femoral artery it covered the soft tissue defect of this area and to reconstruct bone we harvest the contralateral fibula and we attach this fibula to the end of this uh, descending branch of the lateral circumflex femoral artery so as it is attached to the uh, terminal part of the so supplying vessel of this uh, compound flap so it is a fab uh, fabricated sequential type of chimeric flap now here is a fact about the uh, conjoint flap and chimeric flap we know that uh, in around 48% cases the superficial circumflex iliac artery and superficial inferior epigastric artery they uh, arises from the femoral artery together and they are the uh, basis of growing flap and a fasciocutaneous flap based on the superficial inferior epigastric artery so uh, we can elevate both this flap separately or and there is a gray area between this flap if uh, we take this area uh, we if we elevate both this flap and include this area that is if uh, the flap area is totally this uh, so these both flaps are attached physically so they would be called a conjoint flap and if we do not take this area and we elevate both these flaps separately so they are not attached physically but their source vessels are attached um, here then we can call it a chimeric flap so it is uh, a good example of uh, it can be a example of chimeric flap or a conjoint flap uh, that is how we plan to do it thank you